feel like a person that goes into like Alcoholics Anonymous, like, there should be like Sugar Anonymous, be like, hello, I'm Velvet, and I'm a sugar addict. And I'm gonna be like, hey, Velvet, like. Hey, what's up guys? It's Velvet. If you are new to this channel, I make Christian videos, vlogs, and post songs that help you improve your relationship with God, others, and yourself. So give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell for notifications. So today, five reasons why we should eat less sugar. This video is near and dear to my heart because you are looking at a sugar addict. I've always told people I don't have a sweet tooth, I have sweet teeth. Um, I have struggled with eating too much sugar for my entire life. And the last couple of years, by the grace of God, I've learned to control myself with sugar and eat a lot less. And these are some of the things that I've learned along the way. So if you are a fellow sugar lover, dessert lover, if you have sweet teeth, um, give this video a thumbs up and I hope you take away some good advice from this video. So, tip number one, you sleep better when you eat less sugar. I have always been notorious for binge eating sugar at night and this always makes me have really broken sleep. Um, kind of like when you drink alcohol and you fall right asleep and then you wake up at like two in the morning um, and like have to pee or you're just awake for a while and you're like what the heck is going on sugar does the same thing for me um it's always been like a drug and like all other drugs it wears off after a while and yeah i usually get really hot and sweaty when i've eaten too much sugar especially before bed and it just is a broken out of sleep and then like in the morning, I'll sometimes feel really groggy, like I can't open my eyes or like I have a hangover or something. So now that I've learned to control my sugar intake, which has been over the last few years, um, and I just have small amounts of sugar throughout the day, I don't eat large quantities at night or at all if I can help it. I mean, of course, I can always help it, but you know, there's opportunities, go get an ice cream cone, enjoy a nice slice of cake at a wedding. That's more sugar than I'll, norm I'll normally have um, just periodically in a day or in a week. And that's okay to, you know, still be able to enjoy sugar. But yeah, I have found that eating less sugar helps me to sleep better at night. And not just because... I don't have to feel guilty about what I ate, so I just toss a turn and can't sleep because I'm ashamed of myself. That's another reason, but that's not the one I was going for. This is about the physical benefits of having a better, fuller, more cohesive night of sleep, unbroken, where you don't wake up with night sweats or wake up in the morning feeling groggy. So that's my first tip, um, or first reason. My second reason is Eating less sugar has helped me not have mood swings and depression. And because of the chemical structure of sugar, it makes us happy when we eat it. I'm no scientist, I'm not gonna be using scientific words in this video. Um, definitely not talking to the experts here, but to average people who have eaten sugar and have felt depressed when they get a sugar crash. I'm talking to you, um, and this has been my experience. So just eating less sugar, having less spikes in your blood sugar um, can save you from having mood swings. And I mean, this is pretty commonsensical stuff, like when your blood sugar gets too low, you get hangry and cranky. Um, and after a spike and then a drop, you know, that can happen too. So yeah, I've definitely been able to tell, um, like after eating a lot of sugar one day, like the next day I will feel like depressed, like just kind of depleted. I will have little to no affect on my face with my emotions. Um, I will be very low energy and lethargic and um, just kind of sad and 
this is another thing that happens after you take certain drugs because I used to be in the drug world that is I made well I've made a testimony video about that and one video about marijuana but I'll talk more about that in future videos but um, after taking certain drugs and then after you feel depressed and sugar does that for me it might not do that for everybody but this has just been my experience so I will get these mood swings and get like the post sugar blues if you will um, so I'm very very happy that I don't have to deal with that anymore um, at least from sugar so my third reason to eat less sugar is to avoid paying high dental bills and this might be a given or people don't even have to think about this one but believe it or not I have never had a cavity I'm 26 years old I'll be 27 in October and I've never had a cavity in my life and I don't know how that's possible I think God and good genetics um, for my iron teeth or whatever because I have always brushed my teeth with chocolate practically and never really flossed don't hate me all you dental hygienists I'm sorry not sorry because I don't know I'm just lucky as something but I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep up this charade forever so that is not the main reason why I stopped eating a lot of sugar but it definitely is an added side benefit that when you eat less sugar you have better teeth you have less problems with your teeth and I know some people that eat a lot of sugar and have a lot of cavities and I mean you think that happens to everybody you know it didn't happen for me which unfortunately you know I, like part of me wishes it had and maybe that would have stopped me from eating so much sugar before like if I had jacked up all my teeth or something although I know people who even though their teeth are all jacked up they continue to eat lots of sugar and I'm like why what are you doing but I mean but at the same time like I get it because I've been a sugar addict like I feel like a person that goes into like Alcoholics Anonymous, there should be like Sugar Anonymous, be like, hello, I'm Velvet, and I'm a sugar addict. And I'm gonna be like, hey, Velvet, like, for real, that's been the story of my life. So I actually get it. Like, if you are one of those people out there and your teeth have been through a lot because of all the sugar you've eaten and you are continuing to eat sugar, like, I feel for you. I understand you. I don't judge you. But take it. I mean, this advice is like pretty easy to understand your dental care will improve if you eat less sugar and you know your teeth might be too far gone at this point to like you like what I mean is like you can't undo all the cavities that you've already had or whatever um and part of that might be from sugar part of it might be just because you have poor genetics um like in my case I have gotten lucky and I am thankful for that um well not lucky <laughs> I don't believe in luck but I've been blessed with good teeth strong teeth resilient teeth um, but I've learned my lesson to eat less sugar in other ways but that is on my list so let's jump to the fourth one um, you are fuller for longer when you eat less sugar so something that I have done for years and years and I don't do it anymore because I've learned oh, very 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 slowly over time but I used to eat like a very small meal like a salad or you know something very small so then I could eat this big dessert <sighs> and that was great and all but it never worked in my favor like I would always be hungry after and I didn't know why and it was because I wasn't getting the nutrients that I needed I mean this is like the like I feel like everything I'm saying is like so like simple but just take it from a slow learner that, you know, fa face this fact, if this is, you know, if I'm speaking to you right now, if you're somebody that um, eats like a very small amount so that you can go and binge on something sweet, it's just not worth it. Like, it's not worth it for your health. It's not worth it for your hunger hormones. It's, it's not worth it for, you know, your body. Like, we're supposed to take care of our bodies. These are temples that we're supposed to take care of. And that's not good for you and even if you're a skinny person um, which like I've never been like a skinny person I've always been kind of average and I've always like wanted to lose weight um, but I was eating the way that it was and that would never get me to you know it, I could never reach my goals because um, it's just not sustainable if you're eating a lot of a lot of junk um, so 
yeah, talk about a moody mess who is, like, hangry an hour after she eats and then is depressed an hour after that because her sugar crashed. I mean, it's just not good. So, anyways, you do stay fuller for longer. Like, when I have a balanced meal with complex carbs and protein, throw some vegetables in there, a little bit of fruit, a little bit of, a little bit of fat, I mean... Yeah, that's that's where it's at. It really is that simple. And I will make another video about um, just better meals to eat, healthier choices. So my fifth one is weight loss. Um, and yeah, just like sugar, sweets, desserts, like if we're looking at the food pyramid, which I've never liked because I'm anti... I, I gotta watch what I say. Um, I've... I've been a rebel, you know, for my whole life, and I'm always like, I don't trust the food pyramid, like, and especially, like, when I was a vegan, a vegetarian, I didn't believe that the food pyramid was for us, because I didn't believe that meat and dairy and things were, were benefiting us, but, like, now that I'm not vegan anymore and everything, and, like, I'm unbelieving a lot of the things that I believed, like, you know, the food pyramid... It's, I, I still don't love it because, like, the way that our carbohydrates are now and with the whole gluten thing and mm, our food system, mm, 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 mm. I was going to say don't get me started, but mm, it's already started. But anyways, the point is dessert and fat is up at the top and um, I always wanted it to be at the bottom. And, like, I tried to live that way and was de deceiving myself, um, denying that I was actually doing that, but I really was, like, just trying to eat cookies all the time. I was like, why am I the way that I am? Like, why am I fat? Like, or not even fat, like, but overweight for sure. Um, some people might call that fat. Whatever. Are you shaming me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not that person. But, uh, yeah, like, eating less sugar naturally leads to some weight loss. Um, obviously it, 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 it does come down to portion control, um, and exercise when you're trying to lose weight, um, which is another philosophy that I've always denied because I didn't want to. I wanted to believe that losing weight didn't require work. Um, but alas, that is not the case. So anyways, that is all I have for you. Those are my five reasons to eat less sugar. I hope that it helps you. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.